Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the contacts module in Odoo 16. In this module, we can save all the contacts and all the contact related activities. For that, let's open the contacts. Once you open it, you can see all the contacts which are saved in our system. As you can see, this is the Kanban view of the contacts. You will, uh, If you just take a single card, you can see the photo of the contact, the name, the company he belongs to, the mail ID and all. Okay, so this is actually the Kanban view of the contacts. We have a list view, the map view and also an option to schedule activity corresponding to the contacts. So we will start from the scheduling activity section. So while clicking here on the plus icon, you can schedule activity corresponding to any of the contacts. So I'm choosing as your interior and here I'm going to uh, you know, choose the activity type. The activity type can be a mail, call, meeting, a to-do, upload document or anything. So, I'll set a call here. And if you want to add any kind of summary, you can do that as well. And then simply schedule it. So, as you can see, uh, you know, the call is being scheduled for future date, which is February 20th. Okay. So, this is actually going to be in the future. That's why the color is in green. Okay, so this is how you actually schedule an activity and if you go to the map view, you can see the contacts, okay, corresponding to their locations. So, in each location, you can see how many contacts are there and which all contacts are there and all. You can simply zoom into each, okay, and on the, you know, right side, you can see the contacts as well, okay. So, if you want to view this in Google Maps, you can simply click on view in Google Map and from this plus icon you can zoom in and the minus icon you can zoom out of the map. Then we have the list view of the contacts. This is the list view of the contacts which shows the details such as name, phone, email, salesperson, activities scheduled to each, the city where he belongs to, the country and also the company corresponding to the contacts. Okay, so from here you can simply create a contact. So, the contact can either be an individual or a company. Okay. So, I will show the contact creation uh, later. So, let's go back. So, I am discarding the changes. And here we have the Kanban view. So, inside the Kanban view also, we have the option to create contact. Simply clicking on create opens the same window which we saw right now inside the list view. Now, before creating a contact, we have a little bit more things inside the configuration. So, all these things will be used inside the contact. So, first we will go through the configuration and then we will create a contact. So, inside the configuration, you have the contact tags first. Open that, you have the each much tags and if you want to create a new tag, you can simply give the name here and also you can choose a color corresponding to the tag. Okay, and if there is any parent category towards this tag, you can choose that tag from here. That is like, you know, uh, if I choose services, this will be like services slash new. That is a uh, tag or a, uh, I mean, something which represents a subcategory. Okay, and if it's active, you can enable it. Okay, and I'm saving it. Now, this new tag that is services new can be used inside the contact creation. Then we have the contact titles. So the titles are nothing but the way we address a person. It can be like Mr, Miss, Doctor and all. So similarly, if you want to add something, you can add it here. So I'll add what? Network 8 or something. And here we'll add EDV. So you can put the title and provide the abbreviation towards that title. Okay, so simply clicking on create enables you to create the contact titles. Then you have the industries. So these are the industries like, you know, you have education, agriculture, construction and all. So if you want to create a new industry, click on create. Here you can give the name of the industry and here you can give the full name towards the industry. So I'm not creating one as you can see, you have a lot of examples here. So if you just take agriculture, you can see agriculture, forestry and fishing. Okay, so simply clicking on create enables you to create a new industry. Then you have under the localization, we have the countries, the fed states and country groups. So clicking on countries shows you all the countries here. So you don't have an option to create country here. Okay, so if, if you want to export it, you can do that from here. Then we have the fed states. So these are the states here. Okay, so 
if you want to create a new fed state you can give this uh, fed state name here and then you have the state code as well as the country which the state belongs to so that's how you create a new one discarding it then you have the country group okay so you can put it like the asian countries the european countries and all so similarly if you want to create a country group you can give the country group here and if you have any kind of price list for this particular country group you can give the price list name here as well okay inside this order lines you can give that so i'm going back and next we have the bank account section where you have banks so you can add banks here so simply clicking on create enables you to create a new bank so i'm giving the bank name as new bank then if you have any bank identification code you can give that as well then you can give the address of your bank the phone number and the mail id so i'm saving it as you can see a new bank is created okay then you have the bank accounts that is the option to create accounts here so you can give the account number the company and the account holder so i'm giving the account holder as azure interior and the account holder name i'm giving it as john and the bank towards i mean the bank to which this account belongs to so i'm giving the account i mean bank as new bank and the currency so it can be any of these so i'm choosing inr and if you want to uh, you know send money from this account you can enable this thing and i'm saving it so these are the main things which comes under the configuration section now finally let's see how to create a contact using all these things which we created right now so here we have contacts i'm going to create a new one and the name of the contact is going to be daisy and you have two options that is it can be an individual or a company okay so i'm choosing an individual so if it's an individual you can give the company towards which this individual belongs to so i'm giving gemini furniture so this employee works in the gemini furniture or he belongs to that company so once you've chosen the company you can see the details and all provided while you were creating the company as auto occupied here then you have the job position so you can give the job position of the person inside the company so i'm giving it as sales director then you have the phone number where you can give phone number mobile number email then you have the website so i'll choose the website here and if you want to give the title so i'm giving miss as title and here you have the tags so here's the tag which we created right now which is services new and similarly we created a title as well which was advocate so you can choose that from here as well and if you just scroll down you have the option to add contacts and addresses that is you can add multiple contacts for a single person so simply click on add you have these much options like the contact the invoice address delivery address private address and other addresses so you can give the contact name here so i'm giving the name as bob saving and closing it so as you can see one is added and if you want to add again you can choose some other address or the same can be added again so one is added here so this is how you add contacts and addresses that is you can add multiple contacts and addresses to a single person then you have the sales and purchase section where you can add the sales person corresponding to this man so i'm adding sales person here then you have the sales team so i'm adding the sales team as sales then you have the payment terms here so you can choose any payment terms like 30 days 21 days and all so i'm choosing 21 and the price list and all are managed by the parent company now in the purchase section also you have the payment terms then you have receipt reminder that is these much days before the receipt uh, has to be paid or the payment terms ends a reminder will be sent to the contact then you have the supplier currency you can choose the supplier currency as well so i'm choosing inr then here you have the miscellaneous section where you can give the reference here and here you have the fiscal position so fiscal position is basically used for tax mapping and then you have the inventory locations here which is partner customer partner vendor now we have the invoicing section so this is actually related to the parent company so the you know accounting set, uh, settings and all are taken from the parent company then here we have the internal notes so if you want to add any kind of internal notes you can add it here okay then you have the sales section purchases on time invoiced vendor bills and all so when this person does any kind of sales purchase and all that count can be seen here in the smart tab 
okay so i'm saving it so this is basically how you create a contact okay so that's all about the contacts module i hope it's clear thank you so much for watching